looking in the glasses while we wait for the live stream to kick in. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is September 26, 2020. And we're doing day three of three of a show and tell for the gaming collection. Elder God, how are you doing? <laughs> hope you're doing well toast on butter <laughs> fun i hope that's toast on butter anyway ctc i don't know what that stands for uh hope you're doing well hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend today is saturday and uh we're into fall in my part of the world it's raining a lot and it's pretty nice the weather the air is cleaning up from the smokes and whatnot and uh it's a good time to do a little house cleaning and go through boxes of things Randall how are you doing been looking forward to this all day nice awesome me too <laughs> I've been like why did I put it at 12 o'clock why didn't we do it earlier uh, it's a cereal it's a cereal is it uh, okay I didn't know that CTC I don't think we have that here looks like uh, butter on toast happy butter on toast the emote uh, yeah I've been looking forward to this and we're gonna go through all these boxes and for those of you that might be uh, haven't caught the other two streams um, two videos I basically a few years ago I promised to show my gaming collection um, that all the video games console and computer games that have made it with me for the last four decades right with the family and whatnot um, and I made that promise a few years ago and we had the opportunity to do it now reminders were being uh, kept on being sent to me saying chicho remember you got to do the game you got to do the game and i finally hopped to it and grabbed the boxes and we've been going through them okay it's 9 p.m here so perfect for me awesome rendell it's uh noon i could have done it earlier i was like mm, i want to get into those boxes so i was like twirling my thumbs listening to things gina how are you doing good afternoon I'm not going to mention that. <laughs> you just did. And I saw your post on Discord. Uh, while we wait for notifications to go out and for people to pop in, let me tell you who I am. I'm on Ch I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash forward slash Chicho. H Y C H O. If you want to know what all this is about, uh, I do have my thesis sort of laid out there on Patreon. And it's basically building everything almost everything on a layer of mathematics so my my routine my gig my thesis is to uh, improve the literacy of the language of mathematics in our societies uh, especially in Canada United States because I think it's deteriorated to a horrendous level uh, where most people are illiterate in the language of mathematics and uh, it's pretty important to kick that up and gaming has a lot to do with mathematics right psycho new tech psycho yo yo how are you doing welcome welcome discord and send discord send twitch sent awesome so while we wait for people to come in i am on patreon if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons share and share alike for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support good just to get just gaming awesome we are live streaming on where's my little thing twitch <laughs> if you want to participate in the chat as is happening twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who've been subscribing following dropping in for the live streams participating in the discussion or just chilling uh lurking thank you very much for the support um, do appreciate it and I love this interaction what a great great community I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds VK Twitter Gab and Parlor. and if you want to follow some of the content some of the information that we're sharing uh, you can do so on those platforms okay for live streams discussions where we're recording on a lapel mic and an external recorder we do announce those live we do upload those uh discussions as uh 
in audio format as podcasts on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform uh just in case you want to listen to these discussions uh if you're doing things and whatnot and they are they do end up being nice discussions uh, most of the time almost all the time i think there are some hiccups there sometimes we get troll action going on and we will be uploading this video to BitChute and youtube and if you want to follow this work uh, and support this work uh, you can on those platforms you can support by sharing liking turning on notifications guaranteed to get notifications through BitChute, not so much through youtube there's hiccups there uh, algorithms are in play and if you are on youtube uh, you can also support this project by joining youtube membership where the link will be here somewhere aside from that gang welcome to our third gaming live stream collection show and tell live stream spider-man how are you doing so excited for this great thing to do on a saturday i think so curb tim how are you doing hey all what's cracking chicho going through boxes looking at the gaming collection <laughs> Zane, how are you doing? Chicho, how are you, teacher? I love video games. Me too. Me too. As if you followed the other two uh, two live streams we did or two videos we've loaded up, uh, you have seen what we've uh, gone through so far. And there's some good stuff there too. I had a little peek. I opened up a couple of boxes and went, oh my God, oh my God. So it should be pretty cool. I play FIFA and Tekken 7. Nice, nice. We had uh, one of the old FIFAs uh, that we showed. I might have a, another FIFA or a couple other FIFAs here. I'm not 100% sure. Ding Bobber, how are you doing? Chicho, how do you stay so grounded? Uh, you seem very focused all the time. My mind wanders. I could never be as focused. No, Ding Bobber, look, man. How old are you? You're in your early 20s, right? I'm in my <laughs> past half a century, right? Uh, my mind wanders like mad but what I do I allow myself time for my mind to wander I go on long walks two-hour walks and let my mind just do what it needs to do and every every time and I carry a pen and paper with me right and every time my mind comes across something that I think I need to deal with I make a little note right otherwise I just let it do its thing you need to allow your mind to to run right it's like for example and run on things that it needs to run right like if you have a car you're not if you're not using your car you still have to turn it on at least once a week to let the fluids run and the engine run otherwise the battery dies down and things clog up the mind works the same way uh, as a sort of an analogy i guess interesting stream zane Gina, did anyone have an in television growing up? In television, nah, you, man. Gina, I know, I know. I've heard in television, but I, I don't remember it. It doesn't connect. I didn't. You're one of the best re reviewing guys in the world. Thanks, Zane. Albert Einstein, Pog you. She chose twenty one. <laughs> why is getting all caught up uh the emotion is not good we need to take time to meditate and let the mind sort itself out 100 percent thing bobber so what games uh reviews will you do depends on what we hit here zane i know there's one game we haven't hit yet uh from sega genesis herzog zui zugui Zu, zui i'll pronounce it when i get the thing uh great game uh like i'll just let you know if any games that i've played a lot uh, i'll let you know uh, you know my, my take on it was speedy gonzalez style right i had sega channel to the channel though catholic is that you <laughs> yo starsky how are you doing bonus notches amigos how you doing chicho doing fantastic man very much looking forward to going through this uh diet thug thank you very much for the tier one sub catholic traditionalist i'm here brother working in the lab so i'm lurking lurk away a catholic traditionalist by the way i got something to show you i got something to show you 
Catholic tradition is. Are you here? Should I show you now? Should we start this up? I'm going to start off with this gang. Catholic traditionalist is here because uh, he mentioned uh, during, I think, the first gaming live stream we did, uh, he mentioned he has some of the old school computers and then he posted uh, pics of the old school computers that he had and he said they're still running and stuff like this. Okay. So, Speedy Gonzalez. Ah, that should be a counter. Uh, it might be Gonzalez. Is this spelling? I'm not sure how I put the spelling. SG, maybe. Is it SG? SG. Oops. Let's do this. SG. SG. No, SG is not either. Um, it could be spelling. I spelt it wrong. <laughs> Zane says SG, too. <laughs> The most interesting stream bald surges in town uh gang i'm gonna you guys decide which box we want to go through uh first but what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna show this okay got that on my system nice i'm gonna show this <laughs> diet like the bald surge is in town chicho surge chicho system of down is in town right i'm gonna show you this guy okay and then you guys decide what else we want to look at okay and if you're a programmer uh, you know computers you know a little bit of history you might appreciate what's in here okay take a look at this take a look at this okay now hold on before I show you that let me show you this oh, these are manuals recording session midsoft this is just a couple of manuals that I have this is whatever uh, Mitsoft manuals and whatnot. Starsky, yo, Chicho, what sort of games like Retro PS3, World at War, Nostalgia? Um, I have Sega Genesis here, N64. I should have my uh, Xbox games here. Uh, I don't have any PS4. I don't think so. We never had the PS4 console earlier, much earlier. Earlier, much earlier. Yeah. Check this out. First of all, let me show you this. Let me show you this. I mentioned a long time ago that we had uh, in the early 1990s, late 1980s, early 1990s, mid 1980s. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, late 1980s, early 1990s, we had a computer that was partitioned into Linux and uh, Windows, right? Check this out. I actually have some of this documentation on the Apple II uh, printer, right? With the things on it, the, uh, the what do you call that? Check this out. Linux installation uh, and getting started, 1993. Check it out, check it out. Crayon on it. Right. Linux is basically open uh, software uh, operating system that was uh, built from Unix uh, to be open source where people were loading it on. Okay, so super cool. I found this, uh, I love this thing. Is there a Starfleet? Oh, this is a different thing. Oh, this is a different thing. Oh, geez, I didn't even notice this one. Uh, check this out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Starship Cruiser and uh, Starfleet One. This is, I think, I think the Star Trek um, game that I showed you guys. Check this one out. I didn't even notice this when I grabbed it. This is on the Apple printer. Apple Macintosh configuration. Um, microcomputer information control. October 16th, 1989. Department of Computing Services, University of Waterloo. What? Check that out. 1989. So this is just stuff that we printed just to deal with stuff. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, just some documentation. I have some other documentation and I've kept that I need to find. But take a look at this thing. Hewlett Packard. Let me show you the big box. Hewlett Packard HP 41CX. Hey, 
yeah, printing things out and stapling them. Check this out. It's got the calculator here, programmable calculator. Right? Check that out. Right? Check this out. She got the back. And it's uh right. Yeah, this is leather. It's soft. Right? Now it's got these were the programmable discs really for it. Take a look. You pull these out and you put them in. Here, let me open this up. This was the reader for it going here. Let me check this out, check this out, All right? And this is this thing. this box Catherine Chicho it just so happens that my experience with Linux started in 1993 as well with a very early version of Slackware Linux nice nice it's similar it's is it similar to a punch card not a punch card this is uh, a reader right so here's the owner's manual for the card reader. I remember uh, going with my brother, went to LA to buy this whole set, which was insanely interesting. We had to go up in a little, uh, like in a building, a dark stairway up the stairs, and it was just a specialized place where it sold these things. And this is the battery pack box. Okay. It's empty right now. And check this out. Here's another card reader of these things. Right? Pretty cool. It got like special, special design card reader things, right? I'm pretty sure it's one. Boop. And then you flip it. I think it's one of the card readers anyway instruction zebra japan uh zebra cardi right i thought this was uh for those of you who are into programming and stuff would appreciate this uh, very cool uh to have and basically we would uh, connect it up how would we connect it up uh, the battery goes there. Oh, I forget how this connected up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Actually, the code came from the 1960s punch card of NASA. Punch card of NASA, yeah? Okay. And what you could do, you could load a program, right? And then, you know, you turn it on, load a program, and you run different things on there. You could get graphs happening, and it would do it. It was one of the first graphing calculators. Okay, so this was uh, this was pretty cool, and it was at the time quite expensive, a few hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, so very cool, very cool how technology uh, has developed developed over the years, right? Let me close this guy up, and there's a whole bunch of cards, and you load it on basically different programs on each one of these cards, and here's a list uh, multi track so here's a list of what was on some of the cards right okay 
and you just loaded stuff on and you numbered them and when you wanted a program to run you would insert one of these disks right and then here's information and you you know more disks right so very cool just early days of programming uh, and there's some documentation here here are the manuals hp uh, uh, 41cx owner's manual and by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh, it's I, I do appreciate them thank you for the support and it's got like a whole bunch of stuff how to do the programming and there's an extensive amount of uh, owner's manual right so volume one of the owner's manual basic operation and then volume two of the owner's manual operation in detail right <laughs> older god i was born in 91 so this stuff is amazing to me awesome by yeah the stuff the thing the way technology unfolded uh, in the early days was crazy this is compact disc player okay this doesn't belong here i'm not sure if that does either what is that <laughs> look at this <laughs> uh, compact disc player sony look at that compact disc player crazy disc man we had this we used to listen to this a lot chicho we should do a ad lib stream where you take suggestions from us and then read out the ad lib uh, ad lib <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> mad lib and then yeah the rest of it is just a certain amount of paperwork and stuff like this okay i just wanted to share that i thought that was uh it was pretty cool uh to have this and i'm gonna put these guys back and close this up and then we get into the games so have you guys decided which box we're going to go with uh psycho texas instrument was pretty major part of the revolution of it yeah for sure and hewlett packard was as well right hewlett packard was as well but hewlett packard just became garbage after a while right uh asmr owner's manual reading when <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we could i guess at some point <laughs> right i do want to read a couple of things actually on that scale right i didn't think about reading these ones but hey think bobber blue oh hi graham how are you doing blue 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 with a uh, gray top blue is glue <laughs> what's going on with the blue okay i'm gonna put these guys back or on the side anyway and let's get into the games. Oh, blue, that's what you guys are saying. Blue, blue. <laughs> I asked a question, I forgot what it, what the blue is all about. Let's do the blue. Uh, let's put this guy here. Actually, I'm gonna put this guy here. Put it out of the way, because it's not part of our gaming thing, right? So we do blue. Um, here, let's do go straight to gaming. I'll show you these, these guys later. Good, good, good. The best is <laughs> blue. I think the old man has had a few pints already. Uh, no pints. Um, oh, yeah. Here's my snacks, by the way. Or is that Elder God? I got some strawberries. The CSA uh, gave us some more strawberries. Okay. So pretty happy with the strawberries. This is the last batch of star strawberries. It's got to be right got my tea got a glass of water i'm gonna pop a strawberry they black i hope you guys got good snacks yeah csa community su oh, community supported agriculture we join at the beginning of the season in spring mid early spring basically you give them money and for the rest of the season every week they bring you food like harvested organically from local farms and stuff so super good Rendell, you mean Elder God? <laughs> I figured, sort of. Nah, 
Let's check this out. Nice. Our, our second Sega Genesis box. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's the Herzog. Oh, sweet. This is the second Sega Genesis box. We have one over here. Yeah, let me show it to you. Are they different? Yeah, look at the difference between the Sega Genesis. This one is older. Right? Here's the one we already looked at. Which one is older? This one we already looked at. This is the one that was here. What's the dates on these? Uh, this one, does it have the dates? Does it have the dates? What's the date on these? Mm, I can't see the date, guys. So I don't know which one is an older console. I think this one is older, right? Big box is older. Big box is older. So this one is older. Okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. Left side looks like the newer version. Du, 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 du. So, oh yeah, the bigger, the bigger Sega would have been the older one. Okay. So I think this is the newer version. Okay. So we got another Sega box. Very cool. I'm glad to have. I don't know the year. It doesn't say the year on it. Let's see what's in here. Does it have the manuals? Yes. Nice. It does have the manuals, which is fantastic. I like manuals, really. Elder God, if you were here, I'd give you one of the Sega Genesis. If you're here, I'd give you one of the Sega Genesis. I got uh, I got three or four of them, four or five of them, six or actually six or seven of them. I bought a whole bunch to put sets together. So here's a manual for Sega. Right? Cool. And thank you very much for the follows again, gang. I've seen a few pop in, but uh, instructor manual. The best made Sonic games were on Sega. Indeed, indeed. My grandmother had an Atari, a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega. Nice. What's the Genesis called? Mega Drive in the EU, was it? I didn't know that. Let's do this. Okay, so that's a Sega box. Watch this. What do we bring out? Ooh. Okay, we got some uh, some games. Nice. <laughs> this is except for this. This is a N64 controller, and it's got the. Let me bring out the N64. Oh, there's an N64 here too. Nice. So this is the N64 controller. Super bad. 64. Old. All right. And it's got the cartridge in it. A bootleg N64, yeah, made in China. <laughs> Check this out. Made in China. Made in China in the 1980s. Snap. I'm pretty sure this would have been the 1980s. And it's got the memory card. Cool, eh? So N64 controller. Uh, oh yeah, this is the rest of the doctor, the 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 thing that I showed you guys, the doctor thing that copied N64 games. But I'll, we'll hit it up. N64 didn't exist in 19. So 1990s, 1990s. Okay, that's what I thought. N64. Yeah, 1990s. My bad. So NHL 95. This is Sega. Right, hockey. The the sporting ones were pretty hokey in general. GameCube came out uh, early two thousands, wasn't it? Let's 
here's some more uh, sporting ones. Hockey again. Bulls, Blazers. Hockey. I'm Canadian. College. NHL 94. I swear, this feels like it should be a lot older. Hockey. Look at these. These are all gaming. These are all gaming ones. I must have picked these up crazy cheap, right? And I think the smaller cartridge is uh, newer, new, newer, right? So Sega. So all of those are Sega, right? Football. Ninety-five NHL. Two ninety-fives. So I must have bought these in a batch. GameCube 2001, Wii 2006, NHL 94, NHL 96, so every year. I got two NHL 95s, actually three NHL 95s. And two NHL 94s. Super Nintendo controller. Okay, I gotta, the cables are all messed up. I gotta clean up the cables in this. Really good. Tangled, 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 tangled. Super NES controller. That's all very Canadian of you, I know. <laughs> no, here's baseball. Here's the American version of me. Oh my God, that's like last year to me. Mr. Top Ramen, does anyone remember the extension device you placed into the Sega lot, slot to make it stronger? Um, I don't think I ever had that one personally. Here's another hockey. Here is Sega Genesis. The older version, right? And what do we got here? One of the greatest games ever created. Right? Mega Drive. Herzog, Zooey. See this game? Gang, if you've never ever, if you're a gamer, you've never ever played this game, play it. Really. It is still phenomenal. I played it uh, about 10 years ago again um, while I set up the Sega Genesis and I played this game. It's one of the first, it is literally the grandfather of uh, games where you set up bases and you attack each other, like World of Warcraft right this really gave birth to that type of game what's the what's that game called uh the style of game world of warcraft i would if i had a sega yeah i had a master system i think right this game is brilliant real-time strategy real-time strategy right rts rts or rta is it rta or rts okay this is the game that basically began that whole genre okay phenomenal 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 okay. so let's put this and this is the old system and the volume controller super cool volume controller was here and every time the game got stuck you would just go reset press this button right 16 bits insanity right insanity is it gonna focus Oop, it's not gonna focus 
pretty dirty. Needs a cleaning. Well, not that bad considering the age, right? If you need help, check this out. They even had a 900 number hotline. If you need help, call us. Right? Sega. And the serial number. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I need to set that up again. Here is the rest of. Uh, that's just a cable for thing. Check this out. Doctor V4, right? So this is the ex thing that we plugged in into the Doctor V4 um, that we looked at, right? The first thing we looked at during the gaming streams. You would plug that in, and then I would plug this in, and then a cartridge. Do I have an N64? Uh, I don't have an N64 cartridge here, but the N64 game would go in there right and the n64 sits on top of the doctor do i have the doctor thing no it's buried down here so you would set up the doctor thing put an n64 on top and then put this on in the n64 right so it's pretty pretty cool I put this in the thing and i have the so this belongs with the it's actually the light no it's buried so here's a whole bunch of cables right, for the N64. Okay. Uh -huh, D-Link adapter. Power. You got the power stuff. And here's the instruction manual. I mentioned that when I bought the uh, what do you call it the game uh, the person gave an instruction manual and here's how it looks right v64 n64 and then the ds1 goes on top and he drew when i bought it on ebay when he delivered it uh, he drew where everything everything goes i'm thinking of a few doctor jokes now <laughs> people say the next xbox is monolith monolith is that what they're calling it and here's the n64 that came with the doctor thing right and at the bottom you would just put it in and i have some documentation here some emails and stuff No way is this oh snap <laughs> what check this out I print it off oh here's the th remember the spreadsheets I showed you guys here's the written what I wrote down while I was going through the things right and then I converted these to spreadsheets yeah. and Here's the eBay item I purchased. <laughs> Check this out. I paid, I actually ended up paying 130 US. It wasn't hundred dollars US and they charged me 25 for shipping. Okay. And uh, let me make sure I do this Canada shipping. Check this out. N64 game system plus games plus V64. And at the time on eBay, I had six feedbacks, right? And right now I'm sitting at around close to 400 feedback, right? After like 18 years of being on eBay and ended up paying $130 US, $25 shipping. They charged me just for delivering within the city. Super cool. And here's the write-up of what the guy had. 
Here's a write up what the guy had. What were those spreadsheets? Those were uh, spreadsheets. Let me, should I set it up for you guys? So you see what it looks like? That same Crips sound paper. <laughs> yeah. And it's like white still. Right? Here, let me see if I can bring it out. Hold on a second. see it <laughs> he's just trying to fast forward the live stream <laughs> hilarious check this out the the pieces of paper you saw was basically what i ended up doing so when i was going through it So when I was going through the system, I wrote that stuff just by hand, what these things were, and then converted it all, converted it all to a spreadsheet with columns and stuff like this, right? So check this out. This is the system, the V Doctor, right? Or Doctor V64, which is basically a copying system right it copies n64 games so we would do this hook up all the cables i'm not going to set up all the cables and then you take the n64 and it's got a if you have an n64 system under it it's got a sort of a cover and if you unlock it it's got this and this is for this Right? Well, it's not for this, it's for something else, but they set it up that way. And then you set this up on, on top, right? And it sits nice, right? And then you take, did I bring out the other guys? Oh, I didn't bring out the other guys, hold on. And then you take this, the v, -do v Doctor, right? And put it in here, right? And then you put your cartridge, your gaming on here, right? So here, let me grab an N64 game. Where's an N64 game? Where do we have an N64 game? Uh, we do have something here. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, N64 game. Come on. Where's the Zelda? Oh, it's probably in a box. Does this have a rush? No, this doesn't. Oh, check this out. Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> awesome game, by the way, gang. Awesome game. Banjo Kazooie. Come on, focus. Focus. Banjo Kazooie. Whoa, what a game. What a game. And then you would set this up in here, right? You're all set to play, right? Fantastic. Right? And all the cables in the background, they would go in each other and this way and that way and you could again you could just play four four controllers right so it's fantastic whoa what a game gino wait i can't figure out what the last converter before the cartridge this one was a super game saver this one here is a game saver check this out 
Bung Enterprises Limited. Bar Barely Ross, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Okay, oh my god, the music, the game made me mentally unstable. <laughs> All set to play on flipping time travel. Ah, oh, nice. Seriously, this. this okay, so $130 US, $25 shipping, $155 US. Ended up paying for the system plus I don't know how many games we had on those spreadsheets, like a few, a few dozen, right? And minimum eight years of this thing set up with family and friends and myself just playing, right? Well worth the investment. Look at that combination. What a combination. What a combination. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. What a setup. What a setup. Take a look. I'm going to bring it closer. Look at this guy. That is a gaming system. Right? That is a gaming system. Super cool. Super cool. Push it in. Make it, make it level. What a master system. <laughs> And all the cables here I have already set up in the doctor thing. So this is almost set up to play, by the way, gang. Almost set up to play, right? Just plug these things into the N64 and do your thing, right? What a system. That stack higher than my student loans. <laughs> so pretty, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to put this thing on the side, gang. And then we're gonna hit up other things. Let me sort myself out on this. Oh, we can keep the Banjo Kazooie in there. I've been watching since the early math days and I've always wanted to subscribe. Finally, finally caught a Twitch stream. Awesome, awesome, barely, barely lost. Thank you for the sub, sub. And I'm glad you're following the math videos. I should have given up below but it was sitting in the box so no dust fantastic <laughs> can you stream from, uh can you stream from that i don't know that my my plan is when i get into gaming streams is to stream um these types of games okay truffles thank you very much for the uh for the prime sub you can buy a USB capture card and AV input. You could stream it. I could stream it, Gina. I'm gonna look into this at some point. My whole thing is, I wanna stream these games. Really, I wanna get this baby working. Make sure it's working. Or an N64 or Sega Genesis. Definitely Herzog. I really, I really wanna do this. Hype train. We got a hype train going on. I don't know what that is. You'll have a limited time to earn extensive emotes. Okay. Hype train. 94 sub gift or use. Okay. I'm assuming that's not me. A HPGR Thrawn. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Right. So I would love to live stream Herzog. Okay. I would love to live stream Herzog and Sega. And uh, Sega and. Uh, uh, Sonic and Banjo Kazooie and the new Tetris from N64. I played that a lot, right? So super cool. Let me put this stuff away and then we're gonna hit up another box. Okay, I gotta take my glasses off. Let's put this guy here. We'll put this here, put this guy here. And 
this guy here. Okay, that was great. I'm glad we put it together actually. That was super cool. That was super cool. Graham is continuing gifts up they got from Randall. Awesome, thanks Graham. Sub gifts. Or use bits to get the next level. I have no idea what to do here. Uh, Chicho is awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Barely Ross. I watched from the ASMR content and stayed for the awesome discussions and education. Thank you for sticking around, man. Thank you for sticking around. Is anyone else getting bad audio quality? I hope not. Fairly good for me. No. Okay. Must be mine. Okay. I'm, I'm glad it's at least not from my end. So gang, what else should we look at? What else should we look at? Should I show you some of the some of these guys? Let me show you some of these guys. And then you guys decide on the boxes and we can definitely look at the uh, show Sega game collection. See, Sega game collection, uh, it'd be those boxes there. So let me grab those. Let me grab these boxes. Here, let me grab these little boxes and show you what we got here. Oh, nice, that one too. So here's, here's another NHL 94. The gaming stuff. And the cartridge is in there, no, no instruction manual. Here, let me put on my glasses. NHL 96, and the cartridge is in there. Uh, no manual. Oh, oh, oh yeah baby <laughs> oh nice oh sweet awesome so we got the uh, super Ninten super nintendo uh, nes and we have uh, uh sega i don't know here i'll show you what we got and we got some n64 stuff in here so rampage edition jurassic park right. 2.99 i bought it for 2.99 and it works or used to anyway gina thank you very much for the tier one sub ea sports it's in the game is that a primer ray <laughs> rampage edition flashback the quest for identity sega movie land I wonder why this never made made it back to movie land. I'm pretty sure they were selling it. The classic Sega Sonic. Sonic 2, right? Sonic 2. So this is Sonic 2. Wow, ah, it's Sonic 2. It's not gonna focus. Sonic 2. Awesome. Sonic and Tails. What else we got here? Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sonic Speedball. We've received the level one hype train emote. Share. Let's check it out. Boink. Choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> nice, is that the emote? Awesome. Check this out. Sonic Speedball. Sega. We got this game was great actually. Uh, what was it called? Columns. This great columns is pretty fun. Man, it was really good. It was great. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. I believe this is the original. Sonic the Hedgehog, right? What an amazing game. I think this is number one. Should be. Okay. Awesome. Awesome.
Sol Dis. Sol Dis. I don't. I don't remember this one at all. Column is amazing, really. It's great game. It's like uh, jewels that you line up and they go. Psh. It's like a what do you call it? Um, like that game that people play. Here's Sonic Two again. Right. It's like chat Tetris, but better. I used to play it with with my mom. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's better. It's super fun. It's super fun. I love Tetris. And here's Sonic Three. So we got Sonic One, Two, and Three. Awesome. 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 Nice. Here's the. Check this out. Here's the uh, box for Herzog. 16-bit cartridge if you have lemmings on uh, victor man i'll flip out the lemmings i don't think i have that come on man you'll be here oh no manual but another cartridge and i bought a bunch of these gang um and i bought these back in 2002. we had these in in the 1980s it was one of the first games we brought we bought for sega genesis when we started playing it but uh I bought a whole bunch uh, in 2002 just to build a collection. Okay. Nice. Here's some manuals. Uh, Super Super Nintendo manual. Flashback. Nice. Check out the manual on this. Quest for Identity. Look at this. What a comic book style manual. Graham, I would really like to see you play some of these games. I will help you set it up if you want. For sure, I will at some point, Graham. Uh, so, uh, look at this. It is a mini comic. Look at this. I gotta put this on bag and board. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. Fantastic. Video games are lost art these days, yeah. It's a sad change. Cool. Check this out. Star Raider. Star Raider. Cool. Soul. Sold these instruction manual. I don't remember this game at all. I lost my PC game boxes during a move and threw a lot out as well. Really regretting it. Yeah, Randall. I think we did too at a, uh, at a certain point. Castle of Illusions. We have the box and the game, right? So I gotta put this together with a box. Yeah, I don't remember this game at all. Uh, Psycho, like, let me find you. Here's like one of the screens. It doesn't ring a bell. Pretty cool though. Nice. Here's Sonic 2. Box. Manual, manual. Oh, another cartridge. We got I got three Sonic 2s. <laughs> awesome. Not for resale. Not for resale. Okay. Nice. I gotta find a manual for this. We did have a manual, didn't we? Sonic 2 manual? Did we have it? Uh, no, no Sonic 2 manual here. Might be somewhere else. Looks uh, kind of like the Air F uh, Fortress Nintendo. Maybe. Yeah. Let's put these guys here. Oh, nice. This is all in there. Madden 94. Uh, 94. Too many hockey games. Nice. It's got the instruction manual. A little beat up. And yes, 
<laughs> instruction manual. Beat up. And what's this guy? Check this out. Wow. For AFC player rating. Look at that. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hi, Al. I'm sure I missed something awesome, so I won't even ask what I. Cheryl, you missed us putting the V Doctor together with the N64 system on top and the cartridges on top. <laughs> also, happy, happy to have this incomplete, even though it's in rough shape. Check this out. N64 uh, RF switch. Right. Is it all in there? Oh, look at this tape draw. Jeez. Nasty. Oops. Check this out. Pop down from this side. Oh, keep that side closed. Right. N64 RF switch. And there's this guy. N64. So we got these two guys in there. Right. Oh yeah, and you missed the HP calculator thing. Wait, is that a, a N and 4 RF switch? Yeah, I think so. Take a look at the box. for sure and Randall I always enjoy Laura's memory lane adventures take a look the three stooges how you doing long time no see brother hey there Chicho how are you video game collection huh? I got plenty of Sega stuff and uh, um, foist Xbox too cool those are expensive rare here are they cool <laughs> let me put this in here I like it that's in the box so that's super cool come on in you go and then this guy has to go in too Glad to have this. Got to buy a tube TV just to play this stuff. <laughs> well, who 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 mentioned that it might be? You should be able to hook it up, right? Check out these guys. Controller pack. This is for the N64. This is a memory stick, I believe. I got some games saved on this. I'm pretty sure. Right. If want a one want one if want one with box it's over 200 euros easy i saw one in a box uh in rare item store i couldn't afford uh make offer on it wow here's a memory card and 64 memory card i have some games saved on this game i got some serious games saved on this then uh, lots of new tetris and some of the other ones too here's another memory card Catholic traditionalist all this is great and all but do you have a copy of ET the extraterrestrial for Atari 2 I do not do you I think I have a copy of ET for Sega if it came out got any uh, rubber packs I don't know what the rubber packs are psycho sure if he does Catholic traditionalist I hope he's uh, prepared to play <laughs> as part of the stream <laughs> fan thir uh, 35 you got literally some rare goods there, uh, right there, which I say are collector's item for enthusiasts. Nice. Rumble. Oh, rumble packs. It makes the controller rumble. Uh, you know what? I, not for the... Uh, no, I think it's just the Xbox controller that rumbles. I don't think I have one for the N64. I 
don't think I have one for the N64. Check this out. Herzog, another copy. I told you I bought a bunch of these. I bought a bunch of these because I gave a full set of Sega Genesis and controllers to two families, uh, family households, so they could play. And Herzog again. And we got the manual. Sweet. Right? Here's another Herzog. Oh my God, don't destroy it. We get too excited. Sorry about the sound if it threw you guys off. Here's another Herzog. And the manual. Do you want to take a look at the manual? Uh, I, can't switch I do have ET for 2000, uh, 2600 actually terrible game so many cartridges were unsold that they just dumped truckloads into a new mexico oh that's the one that is worth like thousands now no look at the instruction manual on this detailed right almost exactly like space invaders just with et Andy Hebel, 01, Chicho, serious question. You have so many collections, like a huge comic collection, a poster collection, a huge video game collection, and I bet even more. How and where do you store all these things in boxes? <laughs> and I've turned my comic book collection into basically tables, right? I have a video out there showing you guys what I've done with my comic book collection, which is basically put them three tall and I put plywood between them. And I actually, it's not plywood, it's uh, uh, laminate flooring. So the weight is distributed evenly. And I put a laminate flooring on top, so it's a table. So I have two of those things on either side of a room. So I've inc incorporated it as table, the, the comic book collection. Uh, and uh, where's our Herzog? I'm gonna put the manual in the box with the thing on it. Uh, so the comic book collection I've turned into a table. Uh, some of the other collections, I have some posters on the wall uh, and stuff, but I got a lot of boxes, unfortunately. And as you can tell, I haven't organized stuff. There was a period where I had a lot, this, all the gaming, not all the gaming systems, but actually all the gaming systems. I had the Sega, the N64, the V Doctor and Xbox set up with all the games and drawers. So all of the stuff used to be at some at some point laid out in a cabinet I had with all the games and hooked up to a tube computer where we just used to play video games, right? Okay, that's one box. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> N64, N64. That was the first video game of yours I ever saw. The a video uh, first video is that the comic book collection storing one cool i was very fascinated having only a small collection of maybe 100 bucks cool, cool. mario party 3 fun stuff fun stuff mario golf da -da 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 -da. this was okay it's not bad it's a fun game the cartridge is not on there, but it should be somewhere. But I got the manual for it. Mario Golf, right? I see Chicho in a storage space with all his stuff around. <laughs> and a quote, I am the collection king. <laughs> Hilarious. Funny. Bike 64. Galaga is the greatest Atari game in my Galaga is an amazing game. Amazing game. And the cartridge is in here. Let's see if the manual's in here too. Very nice. Let me open it up from this side. Here's the manual. And really good shape. Anybody remember the infamous Sega Saturn? The Saturn, no, but the cube, yeah. Nice, cool. 
That's on my dad's Atari. Let's put this. Oh, I forgot to put the excite bike. This is what happens. You pick stuff out and forget to put it back in and it goes all over the place. Come on. Mario Tennis. Thank you very much for the follows, gang. Follows and the subs. And yep, instruction manual. Cool, cool, cool. And the cartridge. Mario Tennis was super fun. It's here and it's like, uh, it's a fantastic game, really. We uh, we played a lot of Mario Tennis. It's there was there was a fun factor to it. Uh, it was a fun factor. Sega Saturn came after the Genesis and before the Dreamcast. Oh, really? Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Cool, cool, cool. Mario is everywhere, Elder God, Mario is everywhere. <laughs> and you know you love it. Come on. You want more Mario? Mario Smash. Super Smash Brothers. Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron is a great game. Agreed. So who had Virtu Virtual Boy? The Mario Tennis game for Virtual Boy was crazy, but you had to take breaks because it would burn your eyes off. The new Mario Tennis on Twitch is a great game. It has a complex story mode with boss battles that require really technical shots, really. Oh, look at these, look at these, look at these. Zelda, Zelda. Nice. Pokemon Stadium. Graham, you're a Pokemon fan, I think. Uh, FIFA? Uh, Zelda was legendary. Yeah, FIFA, man, I had my love affair with uh, soccer and games, uh, soccer games and stuff. And um, New Tetris. But I pulled out of that. New Tetris. This is one of the greatest games ever created for the N64, New Tetris. And I knew a couple of the developers that worked on this. Literally, one of the greatest games ever created for the N64. I do enjoy Pokemon quite a bit, Graham says. I just saw your video, uh, all of them. You got 13 year, years old video. Yeah, Zane, I've been around for a while. And I bought this game, the new Tetris, for $16. Right? <laughs> I don't know what it's going for now. What is, I, would, I wouldn't sell it. Check this out. Super Mario 64. Ba -ba -ping. Ba -ba -ping. The Russians, man, their mathematics is so powerful, insane powerful. Nice. Torok. Torok. Seeds of evil. NBA Street? Oh, no, I never did. Hey. Nice. The manual and the cartridge. Excellent. Excellent. So Super Mario 63 was that demo they'd have in stores when you see kids just chilling in the store playing it all day. <laughs> nice. Man, I have such a huge appreciation now that when the whole thing is unboxed with the game and the cartridge, 
when game demos and stores actually existed. Oh, here's another one. Got two of them. Turok. Seed of Evil. Very nice. Here's Zelda. Gold. Majora Ma Majora's Mask. Cool. Bomber, and, and by the way, N64 Bomber is a great game. Uh, Catholic Tradition has mentioned that. Mario Party 2. Do you have FIFA 10 for PS3? No, I don't, Ab uh, Abdullah. You can play as Ricardo Caca and Ro Ro Ronaldinho. Nice. I've seen Ronaldinho play um, in real life. Yeah, Bomberman is amazing. And the Bomberman, I used to play a lot on the Doctor. The, I saw it was on a CD. Okay. This game is absolutely amazing. Here, I'll show you this. Oh, this is just a box for the controller. It's empty. Okay. But uh, let me show you these two things. This game. This game was one of the best PC games I've ever played. Look at the dust on this thing. Look at the dust on this thing. Phenomenal. Star Wars. Uh, Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast and we used to play online a lot with a friend Elder God stop it Chicho with the Mario <laughs> Chicho why no mandate to make all food containers everywhere out of hemp plastic and why no uh, moratorium on styrofoam there is actually a styrofoam and on for hemp I actually and here's the things for it I, I played this a lot online with a friend it was fantastic so fun the new tetris for n64 with the original box and unopened sells for around unopened 350 euros these days on ebay wow cyberfan 35 mine is open but uh did i have the box i don't even know if i had the box or not but a phenomenal game 350 euros oof I'm counting a, a till and Mario is making me lose my count. The lightsaber comeback was great. Yes, online play for this was awesome. My first real online multiplayer experience. Thon, aside from Warcraft, uh, actually Warcraft wasn't multiplayer. It was just one-on-one. -on -one. So this was basically my first multiplayer uh, online as well. And when I was playing this, I forget when this came out. When did this come out? Uh, early, late 1990s, early 2000s, I believe. When this one came out, my name online for this, I'll give you one guess what it was. I'll give you one guess what it was. Indeed, it was Chicho. I used to play as Chicho with this online before I even started blogging. Right. <laughs> one of the greatest multiplayer experiences. Tekken 3 was so good. I remember when I uh, saw uh, saw backflips. Did you play Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion? No, I haven't. Have you played Portal? Portal? I haven't. I wanted to, but I haven't. Maybe it would help uh, of you make the Mario coins sound <laughs> as you count. Catholic tradition the Elder God. <laughs> Hilarious. Ding, da ding, da ding. Uh, and then this. Check this out. This controller, dude this controller got so much use a chicho truly a game work what's your real name chicho chicho <laughs> my online name is chicho Ch chichonobi <laughs> obi-wan chichonobi <laughs> yeah like traditionalist says seriously this controller is absolutely amazing for pc and we use it a lot what are these guys nice even have the manuals for it nice look at this awesome check this out uh, products uh, more products of controllers and stuff the different controllers they have okay instruction manual quick instructions for a controller chicho burrito 
a burrito, Chicho and Chong, in my opinion. Orcs must die. One best game ever. Cyberfan, I remember Chicho. I remember when uh, one store wanted to buy my copy of a Ridge Racer 64 without box and manual for like 50 euros. Excellent shape ca uh, shape cartridge. I refused offer because I didn't want to sell childhood games. Awesome and great great choice on not selling it right check out this controller this controller is one of the most amazing controllers ever so much use and it still worked right like oh my god played so much wing commander on this and B, B wing on this like star wars games and flying games what a great grip like really so much fun so and you can adjust it these things right and a back adjuster on it as well to zero it so fun so man i will gotta get into gaming again man oh man super good super good Put this back. Okay, what should we look at, gang? Should we look at some of the manuals here or go to the boxes? You have seen the new Star Wars Squadron uh, flight combat game. I just got a new joystick just for playing it. Nice. Chicho, I love you. <laughs> Rafa Life says. Love you as well, brother. Love you as well. Okay, let me put these guys away. And you guys decide what we want to look at next. Okay. Let's put these guys away. I'm going to sort these guys out later. Look at this. These are great, these guys. So nice. Okay, gang, what should we go with? What should we go with? Do you remember the old NES turbo controllers with the slit pad instead of uh, D-pad? Oh, I remember there was uh, two different ones. I can't remember what they were, Smokes. It's like a modern X-Wing game. Nice. I have a Monopoly game on my tablet. Nice, nice. Are those big books? I want to see that. Those ones? I could show them to you. Oops, those ones? That white box had my... Had my attention since the first stream. This one, <laughs> no. The electrical engineer in me would love to get my hands on that big track to do a bit of after aftermarket work on it. Ooh, that lonely brown book box, the lonely brown box. One of these ones. Which one should we go with, gang? We're all. Should we do the big track? Should we look at? Should we do this side first, and then we take a look at those guys? Yeah, those guys and then those guys. Let's do it. Let's do it that way. Let's do. Let's do. Let me bring out the big track first. Now, we had the back of it as well, the extension of it, right? Unfortunately, the extension broke. It's got a crack in it. Let's take a look at this thing. This is uh, one of the most important toys that has ever come out. Like literally, it was one of the first programming games, uh, toys that came out uh, that really got a hold on people. Like we played with this a lot. You counted the steps, told it how far to go, turn right, turn left, and all that jazz. Chicho, do you have any photos of yourself from 1999 in the timelines uh, lineup? I imagine you might have 
look like Gordon Freeman by the time Half-Life was released. <laughs> Big Track was incredible. Groundbreaking toy in 1970. Groundbreaking. Oh, hold on. Let me show you the whole box first. Here, watch this. So that was the front. Super cool. Big tracks. All right, here's the back. I just don't want to hit the speaker or the mic. Super cool. You could tell it to do 360s and whatnot. Like it was just basically given an instructions, but it felt so unique. Oh, it looks like the tire is off. Maybe. So we might have a broken tire in here. Let me put this here. Nice. Got the manual for it. All right. This toy is 1979. 1979. Big track, operation manual. Big track. And we're in Canada, so they give you, they have to give you legally both Canadian and English version. All right. Here's the top for it. And that's pretty cool, man. Like a table of contents, right? Color system. Very cool. And the table of contents is check in and out, clear last step, repeat, hold, fire. And it wouldn't run around. I totally forgot about the fire. It would go choo 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 forward and backward. Go arrow. Test clear. General. Fantastic. Oh. Lost another tire, hold on. I didn't know, I didn't realize the tires were broken on this. So another tire broken. So let's bring it out. So this is gonna take some uh, fixing up. Right, but this is it. Too bad, I didn't realize it was broken. So unfortunate. <laughs> we totally trashed this thing. <laughs> Look at this. Here's the top board, right? Super cool. Look at that. Total like sci fi. Right? Fantastic. One day I'm gonna get myself on a the whole of a brand new version of this. Right. I'm assuming it's pretty expensive on open box. Forty one year old, a broken uh, toy is okay. It's okay, and we got we played with this a lot. It was it really piqued our interest in technology, right? It really did. So it it did its job in piquing our interest in tech. Lego Midstorms. And then it's got, here's the rest of the broken stuff, cause this stuff was like a tank, right? So it would go like this. Right, super cool, super cool. Very cool. Put this back. Put the instruction manuals back. And then you had the loader for it, right? So it's this guy here that you bought as an extra, you put it in and you could program this guy to dump its load, right? So super cool. Check this out. And 
this one I know. I remember we broke the part of it. Yeah. Got the instruction manuals with it. Right. Big track. And here's the big track manual for the transport operating manual. And here's the thing for it, right? And this part is broken, unfortunately. But <laughs> crazy amount of use. <laughs> right. <laughs> And then this guy would just go along and go burp, 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 dump its load. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. If only it had a warranty card, you could try submitting it. <laughs> Too bad this wasn't bought at a Costco or something. Supposedly you can return anything in Costco, no matter what the reason, right? Track had uh, big track had uh, peripherals. Mind blown. <laughs> So cool. Let's put this on the side. We're emptying this side, right? Let's check it out. Let's grab these guys. Some manuals here's the sub battle simulation which is cool we found it before right and it's got uh, keyboard commands very cool this was for the Apple II, right and here's I gotta put it together with the other box cool. ah thanks elder god we're doing good actually. Borrow time and illustrated text adventure. Not sure what this is. Activision. It's from one of the games, so it must be borrow time, I guess. I don't remember seeing it. Jumbo backup system. But up, up, up. If you have your computers from the computer days. This was a tape backup, I believe, wasn't it? Look at the instruction manuals. And, you know, when you bought stuff, you had to do it yourself. So we did it ourselves. Loaded it on. Jumbo. Oh, no, it's a disc. All right. Mac Wright. Apple II. Look at that mouse. Look at that mouse. The Wright manual. Pro Spectrum installation guide. Oh, we had the other two. So Pro Spectrum installation guide. This is just the software, wasn't it? Look at this. Just tells you how to do it. So you basically bought stuff from your computer and you would just add things to it. Right? 16-bit spectrum, yeah. Here's the manual for the printer. Image Writer 2 manual. And we have this. I have this in a box somewhere. I don't think it's down here. No, it's not down here. Okay, I didn't bring it down. It's heavy. Macintosh manual. Very cool. Mac Paint. And we actually played around with McPaint. Uh, it was pretty cool, really. Very cool first time. Very cool first time. Internal disk drive, Macintosh. Cool. 
Gallows Algebra Package. Check this out. Gallows Algebra Package. I don't know what was this for. This would have been for Windows. Oh, it's an 87. It must be for DOS. Yeah, data, Gallium version, and we have the disk for it too. Eighty-seven, nineteen eighty-seven. 1987 right I remember school in the late 2000s going to the computer and playing cool math games uh, check this out reduce echelon evaluate so you could put in your functions right here's a table of contents for it mathy mathy Heads was uh, good, but that was 90s, 90s. Microsoft, Microsoft Multi-Plan, Electronic Works, check this out. Spreadsheet. Learn how to use a spreadsheet guy. Very important. A spreadsheet and a word processor. I'm assuming everybody now knows how to use a spreadsheet. Right. Cool. So those are some of the manuals. Uh, Master of Orion 2, Battle at Antares. No manual, no discs. Again, gang, thank you very much for the following, for subbing. Okay, apologies if I'm not catching them all. Here's my, check this out, Dungeon and Dragons, set one, basic rules. And it's got the dice and everything in there. Okay. Chicho, my psychotherapist is a Jewish guy in his mid-40s. Should I get out of Dodge now and try hypnotherapy? I don't know. If you want to be hypnotized, throw on hope. Nope. Many of my high school students have no idea how to use actual computer programs. Really? If it's uh, if it isn't on their phone, they don't know how to use a spreadsheet. That red box is nice. Red box is nice. Sure. Really, they're like. If you're in, if you're in high school, by the way, if you're in school, if you're out of school you need to learn how to use a spreadsheet so many people can't use spreadsheets so many I mean, unbelievable if you don't know how to how to use a spreadsheet you're a slave you're not in control of your own life it really doesn't come up that often to be fair spreadsheet man i use spreadsheet like mad No. Nope. Right. I did a software class in high school. It was boring, but probably the most useful class I took. Thrawn said. Nice. I'm fairly good with spreadsheets, but I still struggle a bit folding the fitted ones. Cool. Dungeon Master Rulebook. That's the player's manual, and this is the rulebook. Hello. Duff, do, fuss, lays. Right. Pretty good. Really good shape. Chicho, teach these kids about uh, pivot tables. <laughs> pivot tables, you don't really necessarily need too much. You just need basic formulas. Uh, know how to input basic formulas in a spreadsheet and how to do sums and totals and possibly well definitely learn how to uh, format it to make uh, tables and and whatnot and get your output and lock the cells and and whatnot really it just gives you so much freedom so much freedom right, sorry I'm a bad joke sort of uh, mood today Catholic traditionalist <laughs> <laughs> you're 
you're one of those you're having one of those days uh catholic traditionalist day what's this guy oh my god macintosh disc oh macintosh discs look at this is this package bell but i wrote down macintosh discs i don't here i put macintosh discs so i don't know if it has the games oh look at this Does it have any of the games? Oh, Mac Wright. Look at this. Oh, it's taped. Okay, look at this. Mac Wright. <laughs> Extreme sleep deprivation. That's what happens when you have kids' Catholic traditions. You get sleep deprived. I wonder if there's any of the. Cool, cool, cool. Some of these, uh, a lot of these are just uh, McPaint again. Very cool. There's a lot of power in spreadsheets, but I'm not in the business of telling people what they need to know. Uh, they will discover that one, they own when they need to know uh grab my take on that is it's like you know mentioning to people that they no, need to learn how to read and write system disk like you need to know how to read and write right and if someone doesn't understand why they need to know how to read and write if they're a kid uh, it's important to tell them uh, same with mathematics they need to know mathematics King's Quest 3. Ooh. Turbo Pascal Macintosh. Okay, I gotta see this. Check this out. See if you can see it. Mick Wars is in here. Dude. Found the discs. See if you can see it. Look at that. Is this gonna focus? I don't think it's gonna focus. King Quest 3. Turbo Pascal. Mech Wars. Oh my god. Yes. Some of the discs, right? Of the games we had. I'm not gonna bother cracking them open. They're tied up with tape. King Quest 3. Guide Tour uh, Macintosh. Turbo Pascal. Here's another one. Oh wow, King Quest. That's a throwback. All of those old Sierra games. Very cool, very cool. Glad that this is here. Glad that this is here. Okay, put this back in here. And I'm not sure what's in the styrofoam box that I have there but we'll crack that open too and see what's this oh more discs oh it's just oh Red Rider the free software company Red Rider I don't know what Red Rider is so these are just more discs Microsoft Multiplan backup just stuff uh, blanks that we wrote on assorted so we'll put this one aside so that's those guys let's go through those guys right space quest 5 my fave oh wow let's do this let me move these guys go through it let's go through it this one's easy peasy this one's easy peasy look at this we got sega uh nes two segas nes 
And we have this thing, the mouse thing that I mentioned that we found a manual for. And I didn't know what this was for the hookup, so that's cool. This thing's there. All right, you just old school devices that you realized spending a lot of time on the computer, you needed to have things that were easy on the body. All right. NES, cool. I have a few other consoles of this somewhere. N64, 6.99. Oh, not N64. Sega Genesis, 6.99. And the older system. Oh, they got forty-five dollar price tag on this. I don't think I paid forty-five dollars. I think I paid like two, five bucks or something like this. Right. I bought a bunch of these good timing i just found my sega master system sega genesis plus 32 times adapter nice sweet let's put this guy here okay so that's that box that was easy Civ 2, this is the box. We found a manual in the games uh, earlier, I think. Sonic 3D and whatnot. So this is just the box. Uh, the other stuff was we found earlier. Cool. Doom was amazing. Boulder's Gate? Boulder's Gate. Boulder's Gate. <laughs> Look at the price tag on that. $62.99. Boulder's Gate. When did this come out? 1990s. What year? Uh, I don't know. Let's take a look at this. Oh, dude. Look at that. Man. Earth shattering RPG Black Isle Boulder's Gate Torment little advertisement thing they sent out Restricted Vault Dwellers Vault Dwellers Visual Guide I don't know this one December 1998 Boulder's Gate 2 or Boulder, Boulder's Gate, yeah, cool. Thanks for looking that up, uh, Benny. Or Dis Distrian. Loved it. Yeah, great game. I didn't play it too much, but I watched. <laughs> Look at this guy taking a shower. <laughs> Funny. Funny. I miss getting game manuals with physical copies. Yeah, the manuals are amazing. I don't know why for when you buy a game online, you should be able to interplay productions reference troubleshooting guide. What's this guy? Here's the map. Boulder's Gate. Cool. I played the hell out of Boulder's Gate on PS2. <laughs> Nice. Oh. Cool. Save the trees. Save the trees, sure. But from what I understand, uh, all the recycling that we do, uh, the plastics, only 10% really gets recycled. And 95% of waste is industrial waste. Five thousand degrees. What is this? Fast free online gaming. Haha. <laughs> online gaming. Let's put this back. Check this out. Check this other stuff out. One of the games, early games on the Apple. Right? We had the discs. We saw the things. Ancient 
art of war for the Apple II. There's nothing like a good physical world map when you buy an RPG game. Yeah, indeed. Scooter trees, we need manuals. Hemp. Make it with hemp, right? Why not? Why are we cutting trees? Grow hemp. Ancient art of war. This thing is phenomenal. It was amazing. <laughs> Look at this. Super cool. Super cool. Book two strategy. And you, oh man, this thing brings back memories. Holy camoles. Really. Unbelievable. Cotton manuals. Cotton manuals. Ah, cotton production isn't is very chemical uh, chemically heavy, I think. Super cool. Ancient art of war. Nice. Star Wars Force Commander. Like I, I don't consider the Star Wars movies movies. The after the first three, right, from the nineteen seventies and eighties, the Star Wars movies are just basically advertisements for video games, but poor advertisements. The games are way more interesting, better than the games. Are these DOS programs? Some of these are, yeah. This one I don't think is DOS. Oh, there's. <laughs> I'll show you the other one too. <laughs> Take a list. Star Wars Force Commander. Nice. Just for the role playing games for that scroll. What the hell? <laughs> Forgot that to open CDs. Come on. What? There it is. Jeez. Nice. The disc is in there. To take a look. Awesome. Force Commander was an early 3D game ahead of its time, perhaps, but didn't play well as a result. The level of nostalgia in this stream is too high. <laughs> Benny collectability for sure right collectability force commander Hours, you will join us. <laughs> what a poster! <laughs> just having this, just imagine putting framing this thing and putting it right in front of your door uh, when people open it up to enter your house. Awesome! This is classic. This is awesome. Victory is ours. You will join us. I really can't see Darth Vader doing commercials though, right? Fantastic. This is great. this star wars force commander field combat manual so there's a manual so this thing is complete awesome yeah look at the check this out i think we're gonna go over elder god winter Overtime, Chicho, overtime. We're definitely going to go overtime. Just advertisements on different things that they had, right? Cool. Happy to have this complete. That's pretty good. Check out this next one. This game is pretty cool, actually. In terms of it's how it came out, Prince of Persia. Where are the Nintendo Power magazines? I know, eh? 
I don't think they made it with us. Prince of Persia. Be here, be complete. You're remastering Prince of Persia Sands of Time, I think. Oh, really? Be it? Be it. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Disc is in there too. Prince of Persia. Fantastic. Prince of Persia is my one of my first gaming memories. My dad used to play, yeah. On a PC, it was uh, it was something that was uh, I don't know, it just it, it took on really. Like a lot of people grabbed it, I think manual its gameplay was interesting right for every piece of nostalgia time bonus the stream will never end <laughs> who had delta force for pc delta force we might have i don't know i remember playing it but i don't know if this made it with us I think so anyway. Check out the back. Maybe this is why I sold. I did, Zabrowski says. Cool. What are these guys? Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, this I can't show you right now. Uh, but mm -hmm. keep this in mind. Oh, what's this? This is something uh, we might talk about. Uh, for those of you who've been following, I mentioned might talk about Chicho's Something Chronicles. This is some of my notes from that period. Okay. Oh, this one I definitely can't show you. Oh, this one I definitely can't show you. <laughs> oh, Eurosports. Soccer, soccer. Is there any more games in here? Let me see. Let me check this out. Let me check this out. This I can show you. Here. Bureau Sports, soccer. We need a stream just for that notebook. <laughs> What's this? Disc for making wills. Boring game. <laughs> ah, getting close, getting close, Psycho. And these are just picks, picks. Oh, what's the same voice? Oh, okay, good enough. Okay, this we can bury. show you this I'm showing you this for one reason okay uh, these are shoes I'm showing you this for one reason it's just made it here for some reason it was there right for some reason it was there uh, might need that in, uh, maybe not but there is uh, there's somebody that's supporting Julian Assange and she deserves a lot of credit okay and it's 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 Pamela Anderson right so Pamela Anderson supporting julian assange that is the reason why i'm showing you this okay free julian indeed okay julian makes it to a gaming stream nice gaming collection stream let's put these back and i'm gonna keep that binder out god bless her she's local she's local and the reason this is here is because i'm from vancouver and she was from Vancouver. So she's a local celebrity that made it big onto the scene. So that's one of the reasons uh, she was here. Okay. 
these guys go back here and let's close this up and this binder we put on top political documents <laughs> We got a couple of actually more. Oh, 007. Sweet. 007. Panic, please. Thank you for the follow. And gang, thank you for following. Okay. Tom and Lee helping her on this. Oh, high five, high five. 007. Um, uh, Elder God, I hate to say this. Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> fantastic but wait chicho in vancouver a lot of people are talking french oh well, canada right the golden eye was the best game for the n64 not even a question really that's what you consider right you think one of the best best games zelda another another one gold the evil bubble thank you for the photo what a classic what a classic golden eye was a great game I love the 007 games on the N64, but god damn, they were difficult. Difficult, indeed. <laughs> you were getting like crazy. And that was beautiful, right? Because you got your money's worth. Power supply. Okay, these are consoles. So let's see if we can see what we got in there. Oh, I got two xboxes what in the world that's right i do have two xboxes okay this is crazy the cables are all messed up turbo turbo controller let's see if we can detangle these check this out this has got to be for the Sega. This has got to be Sega. GoldenEye was tons of fun, but let's be honest, hardly a good game. GoldenEye is probably the best licensed game ever. This has got to be Sega. So it's a turbo. It's got the turbo thing on there. All right, I can't remember that. If you didn't play 007 with your friends in squat screen mode, you didn't have a child. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Funny. Here's Sega. So that's a. This is a legit Sega controller. Huh? See the difference? Take a look. All right. This is the legit Sega controller. This is like a generic version or something, right? N64 adapter, I believe. Made in China. I need to take this up, these things. Separate them. Let's see what we've got. Okay, this adapter can change. Sega? I'll just show this to you. It's another Xbox with controllers with different. Uh, here's another Sega one. So I need to detangle this, right? Check this out. The Golden Eye gave me glasses, right? So there's an Xbox in here. Take a look. Okay. Box of spaghetti. Box of spaghetti. <laughs> this is what happens when you put things away like this so i'm gonna leave this alone and deal with it later okay let's put this guy over here we got three of the noodles out anyway right let's put this guy here and we'll put this guy over here Ta -da! 
last box. And this one's going to be easy going through. Check this out. Ah, let's put these guys away too. The games. Check this out. This we actually used. Did you guys ever have the driving games where you bought the extensions for the driving? We did. Oh, so dusty. Hold on, let me get a uh, rag to clean off the dust. Check this out. Steering with Junior. JR. Nice. Check that out. Yeah, with the brake and the speed. So cool. So cool. I found my Prodigy album. Right? Fantastic. Made in China. Cool. bunch of cables original 12 made in Germany what are these guys for? original 12 DB frequency original I have no idea what those guys are for but I'll check this out out <laughs> dusty 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 I can put this guy nice look at that don't wipe away the dust. That's the best part. Do you have a Nintendo Power Pack? A Nintendo Power Pack, maybe. I got an N N uh, N64 system, not the Power Pack though. All plastic, not even one kilogram of metal. No, one gram of metal, probably not. They have, there would have to be some metal in the chip that went in here, right? There's gotta be something. Wait, it has a gear stick, yeah. Also, it's got buttons here where you can do things with. Light would turn on, start. Fantastic. And this is for the N64, right? Check it out. Pretty sure it's for the N64. I wonder how many of the games... Uh, uh, I can't remember how many games it was compatible with. Right. Awesome. And look at the bottom, it had little sticky things. You could put it on the table and it would stick. So it would feel like it. Wonder how much that cost back in the day. I can't remember. I can't remember. Straight out of Lamborghini. <laughs> Playing driving games when drunk is amazing. It's like a DUI <laughs> simulator, you thought, Jazz. My steering wheel experience wasn't so good. <laughs> cool. This was awesome. Seriously. And you have the pedal. Fantastic. Super fun. Key configurations you could do. And this is uh, in really good shape. Right? Super fun. Super fun. Fantastic. Glad to have this. I got some cables here. I don't know what they are, but we're going to leave that alone. I think there was a dr phil episode on that was there hilarious zabrowski so let's put this guy down as well i got some work to do gang i gotta go through this and try to consolidate and put some stuff together right fun 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 and it goes from here to over there awesome Wow, 
that took three days to go through you need to actually hook some of those says i know i do once i put them all together label them make sure everything's together when i get the time when i get the setup i will try to hook it up drunk gaming in general are pretty cool even the bad ones habitually you know you won't do i do i do if i had man if i had the game set up right now right after the stream i'd be sitting down and playing some games which is good and bad i got a lot of stuff to do so uh, uh there's a in I had, intentionally i didn't set up uh games a while ago because i just love the headspace i'm in and i love doing what i'm doing right now so i don't want to take away from that however that being said going through this and knowing that i can incorporate that with live streaming playing games and having a fantastic time i think we're going to start working towards it andy hebel chicho retro gaming uh live streams incoming indeed i think we're going to do i really like x-wing versus tie fighter nice they they say the new star wars games squadron is supposed to be like it coming out october 2nd cool 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 that steering wheel works on ps1 xbox and sega saturn is called top gear really so it doesn't work on the n64 so it must be for the xbox then right it's for the xbox eh? i thought it was for the n64 man whoosh. everything mixes together asmr gaming with chicho indeed it would be right games are an excellent learning tool and are a great opportunity for experience indeed they are i agree with you ground 100 i don't i have no idea what my life would be like if i wasn't if i didn't have a gaming periods or if i wasn't a gamer right i'm not as hardcore as for 40 years i've been gaming i don't i don't think that's the right thing to do i think you immerse yourself in a game enjoy it enjoy it and then other things in life need also appreciating as well so i go in and out of gaming so i have no idea what my life would be like without gaming i have no idea what my life would be like without mathematics without comic books without knowing how to cook so gaming is an essential part has been an essential part of my life uh, and i'm very grateful for it uh, so and i've learned a lot from gaming and i highly highly uh, uh, appreciate gamers and gaming and my students that are gamers in general they they have a faster processor if they pay attention some people unfortunately get addicted to gaming that's a, a human habit uh, if you find out that you're addicted to anything including gaming pull out right manage your addictions right uh, extremism in moderation is the way i i deal with things and when life needs taking care of take care of it okay one on ebay for 75 pounds wow expensive maybe not i don't know 75 pounds seems okay i guess games taught me so much mathematics as a kid too so you could incorporate that indeed benny indeed benny uh and for sure at some point we will incorporate that uh, no doubt no doubt maybe in 2000 and uh 2021 next year we'll start it up oh sorry uh you're right not for xbox n64 it is for the n64 okay yeah that's what i thought it had to be the extensions for it were for the n64 so it's for the n64 uh, and ps1 really and sega saturn games taught me that that yeah lots of games uh, teach moral and ethics as well indeed and pattern recognition gaming is pattern recognition is a huge part of gaming so if you optimize that do your pattern recognition and take what you learn in gaming and apply it to the, to your everyday life man you're rock and roll you could do whatever you want pumpkin how are you doing pumpkin eyes chicho we need some dating advice from you do you <laughs> um, fall in love have uh your heart will be broken that's a good lesson you learn to love more gamers were prepared for the pandemic gamers were prepared for the pandemic life is too short to not have fun indeed agreed agreed i misspelled my bad n64 ps1 and sega saturn okay cool thanks my con i like to play on the weekends good top gear logic 3 jt 
426. Hey, what? There's a there's a Chicho with glass with dark glasses now. Chicho Surge with the dark dark glasses on him. Damn. <laughs> Hilarious. With everything you just showed us, I'm almost certain you were addicted. You were addicted to games. I wouldn't it, look, we're you human beings, we have addictive tendencies, period. I've never met a single human being that doesn't have at least one addiction right which is addiction is something that's a passion right that takes away from other things in your life so don't become addicted to games have passion for games right play your games when when you want to when you need to right but don't sacrifice other things in your life only for gaming there's other things in your life that you need to do right that are going to amplify your gaming that are going to complement your gaming make sure you do that like stay healthy when you're gaming you're sitting in one position you start getting body aches like if you're young you're not going to notice it as you get older if you're sitting in one position doing things you're going to get tendonitis you're going to get shoulder problems you're going to get back problems don't do that if you want to game for your whole life then make sure you're doing other things other than gaming so you can gain for your whole life right stay physically active if you want to gain for your whole life right buy some of the best games you can make sure you learn how to read and write well make sure you learn your mathematics make sure you do well in school get your degree whatever degree you need to get make sure you get a nice job that you enjoy so you can maintain your life have money coming in and game all right so don't sacrifice everything for short-term gaming experience because you that doesn't mean you love gaming that means you're having an addict, addictive tendency that you're letting your addiction mess with you right that's my words of advice gang really and that's coming from someone who started gaming back in the late 1970s okay my two cents you must evolve past the simple human need for friends and love clean stream i almost pulled my sword earlier did you elder god i'm glad it was clean you can unlock it uh, i learned real empathy by playing games i now know what it, it must be like as a frog trying to cross the busy street <laughs> hilarious surges mm. <laughs> rental mirror uh, consumption without forethought consumption without forethought benny nobody is perfect perfectly balanced nobody right and that's something you have to be aware of and constantly adjust your life to bring more balance into your life amplify your gaming with g <laughs> endorsed by g joe <laughs> good advice though thanks my pleasure my pleasure gang let's call the stream how long have you been going not bad not bad two hours and 20 minutes two hours and 20 minutes we did good gang it took us about six seven hours to go through the gaming collection i had there uh three three gaming uh collection show and tell streams and well worth it loved it thank you chicho my pleasure benny my pleasure and gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows months thank you for taking care of business thank you for the conversations when will day one be uploaded on youtube day one will be uploaded um either tomorrow or i might upload the happy stream tomorrow and then day one will be uploaded in three days so i'm given a uh, two-day break between uploads on bitshoot and youtube okay on youtube anyway on bitshoot i might upload other things in the middle uh because we're uploading catch-ups but two-day break so either tomorrow or three days from now okay i might i'm trying to upload the happy one um right now bitshoot is having little hiccups so i'll try to get that going first time we are and really enjoyed the stream thanks my my pleasure jim uh thanks for popping in and uh, i'm glad you enjoyed the stream uh cool stuff thanks for sharing it with us you my pleasure cheryl thank you for watching right i really want to do more happy streams i missed that one oh grab it was a great stream it was a great stream and we will do one i think more of them Graham. okay gang as far as who i am what i'm up to 
I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. You can follow the work, and at some point, when you do have the means, you can support this work through Patreon. And those of you who are supporting this work through Patreon, thank you very much for your support. I hope you're enjoying the content that we're putting out best we can do uh so i hope uh you're enjoying it and you're uh you feel like you're getting your supports worth of content and again most of everything that i do majority of everything that we've done is layered on mathematics and that is the main thesis of the work that we're doing and we we, we do live stream drop in tutoring sessions every set from now on until the end of the school year where you can drop by and ask for math help and we will try our best to help you out either me or people on chat that drop by that their mathematics is more powerful than mine so those of you who are watching right now keep that in mind mathematics is ridiculously important so if you feel like it if you need help drop in we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay if you want to participate in the chat as it's happening during these live streams twitch is where you want to be at and again gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussions mods thank you for taking care of business uh psycho everyone remember to go on discord too it's a really organized cool place uh, a lot of good discussion in there indeed thank you psycho uh, for mentioning that i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gap and twitter and we do share some additional information there you can follow those uh social networks if you want to see what else we're up to and what it is that we're sharing and i do announce all the live streams 30 minutes before we go live or a few minutes for unscheduled live streams and whenever we upload the videos to youtube and bitshoot and the audios to soundcloud and we do upload audio to soundcloud as podcasts for streams where we don't have any visuals involved where we're doing discussions when we're recording on a lapel mic and an external recorder and if you want to consume some of the content that we're creating in audio format as podcasts you can follow the work on soundcloud and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and we will be uploading this stream on bitchute and youtube and you can support this work on those platforms by subscribing by following by turning on notifications you're guaranteed to get notifications on bitchute not so much on youtube youtube hasn't been sending me notifications on certain channels that i've following that i've turned on notifications so if you're on youtube uh watching these videos you might want to check back more often than not because you might not be getting notified and if you want to support this work if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership there's a button there and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for your support cheryl i haven't had to use my sword so i need to earn my cue some <laughs> cheryl we got tomorrow we're doing by the way gang we got one more stream left in this set tomorrow we do a comic book reading we got two comic books to choose from and we're going to run a poll to see which one we're going to read one is uh kit colt uh cover by jack kirby and dick Ayres. the story is by stan lee the artwork by dick Ayres. and the other one is crime and that was from 1962 silver age of comics and the second book we have uh, as a choice to read is 1952 golden age comic crime does not pay and there's a story in there about john dillinger awesome 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 and john severn i believe did some of the work in that possibly lev gleason publications okay oh my god i get all the youtube notifications from you but maybe a premium thing no oh, maybe uh i don't know like for me i'm not getting my notifications on action for assange jimmy dory or activision activism tv and they're all political did you ever read spirit i read some of it from will eisner yeah indeed and will eisner is amazing and by the way my con we did a reading of will eisner's uh, one of will eisner's graphic novels he put out uh, and we have a reading up of that and at some point i'll get my hands some of the original spirit comics i might have a couple but they're buried uh, so i'll have to do a comic book haul get one of the original will eisner spirit comic books and do a reading of that okay aside from that gang 
thank you for being here and if you can make it uh tomorrow 11 a.m we do a comic book reading bye everyone <laughs> yeah oh my god will eisner is amazing my life force we did a reading of my life force and it's an amazing piece it's about a guy who's schizophrenic and hears voices and will eisner's gang you haven't read will eisner read will eisner okay gang i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it bye everyone